if your brother trespasses against you go and show him is false just be between the two of you if he listens to you you have one ever brother over then followed by mediation or conciliation in case of failure essay but if he will not listen take one or two others along so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses if he refuses to listen to them and then using of authority to make a binding decision called arbitration engaging church's arbitrator tell it to the church and if he refuses to listen to the church treat him as you would a tax collector or a packet in other words in case of the one at fault refuses to obey the binding decision of the arbitrator award of the church that is having he agreed on religious class earlier by way of joining the church the award may be executed against him before the court of law in as in Matthew 5:26 and 25 and 26 25 says if someone brings a lawsuit against you and takes you to court settle the dispute while there is time before you get to court once you are there you will be turned over to the judge who will hand you hand you over to the police and you will be put in jail 26th verse there you will stay i tell you until you pay the last penny of your fine in this context jesus continues saying in matthew 18 18 i tell you the truth whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven which would reflect the present chief justice of india uh, remark on arbitration as a, as uh, as as arbitration is a divine job associate us supreme court justice antony scalia said in 1987 i think this passage has something to say about the proper christian attitude towards civil litigation paul says that the mediation of a mutual friend such as the parish priest should be sought before parties run up to the law courts I think we are too ready today to take seek vindication or vengeance through adversary proceedings rather than peace through mediation good christians just as just as they are slow to anger should be slow to sue in the 1982 report of the strait of the judiciary chief justice warren burger once one reason our courts have become overboard and is the americans are increasingly turning to the courts for relief from a range of personal distresses and anxieties remedies for personal wrongs that once were considered the responsibility of institutions other than the courts are now boldly asserted as a legal entitlements the courts have been expected to fill the void created by the decline of church family and neighborhood unity current trends in other countries england following the uk arbitration act 1996 a new scheme launched in february 2012 has got the first time in england a body of rules for family arbitration family arbitration can be suitable for international disputes also south carolina Arbitration agreements in South Carolina are governed by the Uniform Arbitration Act. Arbitration has been approved as a valid process for the determination of family law disputes. South Carolina Court of Appeals, Court of Appeals has ruled that agreements to arbitrate and the resulting arbitration awards be treated the same in family court as in any other courts. Arbitration is also discreet. Canada Ontario's arbitration act governs the ma- manner in which disputes can be resolved outside the court system basic principles of this act is that people who have agreed to do so may resolve their disputes by following the decision of the third party chosen by them and having done so are required to honor that outcome this statute as permitted as it is predecessor the resolution of family dispute through arbitration 
In brief, Antonio's Arbitration Act set up a regime whereby citizens can resolve most civil matters, including family law matters, privately without a reliance on the court system. Decisions made through arbitration are legally binding and the court system can be called upon to enforce such decision. With respect to the use of religious law to settle family disputes, as Boyd states on page 12 of their review, the language of the act is consistent with choice of different types of laws such as religious law or even set of rules made up by a private organization or by the parties themselves to govern their relationship. In other words, individuals have been free to use private arbitration based on religious laws since the first statute was written in Ontario. Conclusion The mediation cell of the Punjab and the Haryana High Court attempting a patch of matrimonial disputes is actually positive development. Following the Supreme Court judgment in the Jagrai Singh versus Birbal Go case in the matters of the family, we must know that human relationship must be bonded by settlement and as far as possible not litigated in the court. Mandatory reconciliatory procedures being the need of the R in the family laws. The mediation and arbitration synergy called a med or that is mediation and arbitration should issue finality so that matters can be done away with conclusively without any further challenge. In the Indian context, we have a few judgments supporting pre and post marital agreements, which are necessity of today's marriages to help the disputants avoid litigation even for matters and uh, even for silly matters and uh, limit the demand of maintenance with the capacity in case of divorce. In this juncture, I invite law, uh, law and Christian scholars to research on private international law also in connection with arbitration being used in matrimonial capacity, uh, matrimonial, especially Christian family disputes. Justice is B. Sinka, Judge Supreme Court of India, saying in his article, Courts and Alternatives, the slogan of the day should be mediate and do not etiquette, would remind us of our being more prone to ADR mechanism nowadays in India. Certainly, not all cases are fit to arbitration, notwithstanding the concern of both parties to go into arbitration. Obviously, like any other new ADRs, options, it will travel through time for family arbitration to associate with the Indian legal culture and for our ADR practitioners to see it as a viable option for their clients, though not preferred. Albeit, I hope that within five to six years period of the advent of the binding family arbitration, lawyers will astonish how we toiled along without it considerably given the escalating obscurity of disputes and delay, expenses and equality of the traditional court processes. Thank you. Now we have arbitration and its relation to family loss slides. You can just go through this. Article 51A, the fundamental duties. Article 51A says the fundamental duties. To develop to the scientific temper, humanism, and the spirit of inquiry and reform. That's H. J says to strive towards excellence in all spheres of individual and collective activity so that the nation constantly rises to higher levels of endeavor and achievements. These are the titles or headings Introduction, Authority, Jurisdiction of Arbitrators, Jurisdiction and demand for family arbitration, problems 
experienced with the adversarial system of litigation family laws and matrimonial mediation family law arbitration its advantages and christian approach christian concept of arbitration current trends in other countries conclusion which we have already heard now the introduction you can see the introduction which have been uh, referred with so many references which have been given with so many references which have been given over here and uh, next one again uh, authority and uh, jurisdiction of arbitrators which have also the references jurisdiction demand for family arbitration which have references a uh, problems experience with adversarial system of litigation which i have already read out family laws and matrimonial mediation family law arbitration its advantages and christian approach christian concept of arbitration current trends in other countries conclusion thank you for listening